This is a 2020 Audi e-tron. My Audi e-tron, actually. I've done a few range challenges already. We have this one with Tesla Buren. Then we have this one with me by myself. And today we're gonna do another range challenge, this time on a stretch of road where there is basically no motorways, a trip of 457 kilometers that should take around six and a half hours. That means an average speed just below 80 kilometers per hour, which should be a sweet spot for EVs. So today's challenge isn't going to be how fast can we go from point A to point B, but how efficient can we go from point A to point B. This range challenge isn't as easy as it might seem because the highest peak over Hardangi Vidin is 1250 meters, 450 meters higher than the highest peak on our last range challenge. We have one advantage though. And that's the fact that we're on winter tires. But we're on winter tires because we should hit lower temperatures, which should be bad for range. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chris and I do car videos. So please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. Now, on to this range challenge. This is our starting point here at EX 711 in and we have taken a bit of a detour and guys I do apologize it is really noisy here with all the traffic and all the trucks but we have taken a bit of a detour to find this 150 kilowatt rapid charger from Fortum because we could have driven about three or four kilometers in the right direction but that would be much more expensive so this charger here is 250 uh, two kroner and 50 euro per kilowatt hour and also two kroners per minute and the circle k charger which, which is you know more in the direction we're traveling is five kroners so i estimate i have around 35 percent uh, state of charge i'm going to 100 percent and at this charger i'm estimating it would cost around 175 kroners but at the circle k charger that way it would cost 250 kroners so for a four minute detour it's worth saving that money so we're currently at 45 percent state of charge we're charging at 125.1 kilowatts and will be 100 percent charged in about well 35 32 minutes i think it will go much quicker than that if it takes too much time to top up the rest which i don't think it will i think we'll be full in less than 30 minutes uh, but if it does, we'll just leave it at, at 90 or 95 percent because we don't need 100 percent state of charge to go to the next charger. We're about two and a half hours into this trip and the first leg from the fast charger in Hövig to the fast charger we're gonna hit in Eidfjord, the first 150 kilowatt charger between Oslo and Bergen, it's about 300 kilometers. And if I've estimated a consumption of about 22 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, meaning that when we hit that charger, we will have about 13% battery left. 
but what is very interesting is that from the highest peak of 1250 kilometers is only 35 kilometers to add fuel and actually only 30 kilometers before we hit sea level again and when I've driven this stretch of road before in my XC90 T8 plug-in hybrid I've had a fully charged battery when I hit sea level from that peak of 1250 kilometers so that will be very interesting so fuel consumption might even drop even more I'm gonna to try to get 20 but I'm not doing any efficiency mode I'm not doing any AC off I'm just driving normal but we've had really nice weather it's been basically sunny all the way and we've had temperatures around 12 degrees Celsius So at our destination here in Eidfjord, our first charging stop, and we've actually had really good consumption, 20.9. And as you can see at the far end of this fjord, 35 kilometers that way, we had about 19% battery left at 1,250 meters. We're now at sea level at the, in at the inlet of this fjord, or the, not the inlet, but the deep side of this fjord and we have now 22 percent battery left or 23 i'm not really sure 22 or 23 but it really doesn't matter because we've had really great fuel consumption 20.9 is 13 degrees celsius it's overcast now we have dry weather but in theory we could go over 415 kilometers now with this range and that is very interesting because we have about 408 indicated kilometers left on the board computer and it's 159 kilometers to our destination in Bergen. So if Audi could just eke a bit more out of this battery instead of the 86.5 kilowatt hours available, we could actually go from Oslo to Bergen. But we're now charging and we're gonna check the charging speed here because we are at a 150 kilowatt charger. And just give me a sec, I'll check the app. So yeah, we're already at 25%. We are charging at 133.8 kilowatts. And yeah, we'll do a quick 20 minute charge here and top up to about 80%, I think. The trip to Bergen took a little more than 7 hours, mostly because of several stops due to roadworks. But that doesn't really matter, what matters is how efficient we managed to drive. Remember, no efficiency mode, 
no driving below the speed limit and no AC off. Just normal driving, not thinking too much about being efficient. In the end, after 456 kilometers, we averaged a speed of 67 kilometers an hour and managed an efficiency of 21.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, meaning a theoretical range of 412 kilometers. So, the answer is yes, you can drive efficiently with an Audi e-tron 55.